Hi, Steve from Brownells here, and today we had a customer ask us a question that we're going to take a look at. What's the big difference between 38 Super and 9mm Parabellum? To tell you the truth, not a whole lot, but let's, uh, let's take a look at the cartridges themselves. They were both developed, or they have their roots going back to about the turn of the century, and I mean around 1900. This was the 38 automatic back then, loaded to lower pressures, and this was going to be the next service round for uh, Germany. And what happened was, John Moses Browning started tinkering with automatic pistols, and one of the designs he came up with earliest was the 38 automatic. Dimensionally identical to the 38 Super, but loaded to lower pressure. Of course, the Germans developed a 9mm. That went on to serve in two world wars. It's got a proven track record, being reliable, you know, a good cartridge. Uh, the 38 Automatic evolved into the 38 Super in the late 1920s because law enforcement was looking for something with more penetration that could be used in an automatic pistol. Now, the 357 Magnum was, uh, you know, an obvious choice back then, but uh, for an automatic pistol, there wasn't really anything. A lot of uh, gangsters and what have you, hooligans, were using body armor that would stop a 45 automatic. 38 Super was able to zip through some of that stuff. That's why that came into being at a higher pressure. However, when Colt went to that higher pressure round, they put it in a 1911 rather than the old 1900, 1902, 1903 automatics. So if you do own one of those old automatics, don't shoot the Super in it. It's really hard on the gun and eventually something will crack. When you get down to performance, there isn't a whole lot of performance difference, especially nowadays with the modern bullets. We've got the HST, you've got the gold dots, you've got critical defense ammo. Um, not a whole lot of difference. A lot of it uh, comes out to what platform you want to use. Now, to be practical, if I were going to buy a gun today, it would be a 9mm, simply because of ammo availability. You can always find ammo to practice with. It's easy to find components to reload. 38 Super, not so much. 38 Super is a great round. And if you look in your current Hornady loading manual, there are some really good loads for it for 124 grain and up. 140 grain, 147 grain hollow points, XTPs of course. Some nice high performance loads there that would be good for some hunting applications. Nine millimeter is always gonna be 100 to 150 feet per second behind the 38 Super. However, they go into a smaller grip on your gun you know, like a Glock grip or a XD or you name it. So I'd say the 9mm is a more practical choice, but the 38 Super should have been done and buried years ago. Competition revived it because it was a, a cartridge that could make major easier than the 9mm. But uh, even then, now that it's kind of waned again, it has its cult following and it's never going to go away. It, it is a good basic cartridge. And its, uh, its cousin, the, the 9x23, is basically the same size cartridge loaded to much greater pressure, loaded to, you know, past 357 Magnum pressures. And it does give 357 performance in a standard 1911. So the 38 Super's not dead, and the 9x23 should have given a new lease on life, although, we're, you know, we're still waiting to see. So when it comes right down to it, the difference is slightly more speed with the uh, 38 Super, and you can use slightly heavier bullets in some cases. But uh, as far as practicality, the 9mm is really the way to go. You get good performance, good enough performance for self-defense, especially with modern loads like the HST, like I said, and the Gold Dot. So if you're contemplating getting your first gun, I would go with the 9mm. You'll find life is much easier for you. But if you like something to hand load and, uh, and try some new things with, 38 Super is a pretty cool cartridge. And it, uh, it has a great home in the 1911, especially a customized 1911. Now, if you've got a favorite, let me know. And uh, let me know why in the comments, because uh, I'm a 38 Super fan, and I'd like to hear from some of you people that uh, like it too. So thanks for watching. We'll see you again.